what's going on YouTube Gen X? <clears throat> Excuse me. So I had a conversation a couple of days ago, um, and this young lady was talking about the need for more examples of uh, positive black relationships, um, and I agree in terms of what that would mean. Um, if you're growing up in a home where you didn't see it, what are you copying? And we're nothing more than creatures of imitation now. Yes, we have uh, free will and the whole ability to go outside of our environment in terms of <clears throat> coming to our own conclusions and making our own path. I do agree, but for the most part, we are simply a product of our environment. So if you don't see something, what are you going to copy? My only issue is that when it comes to that being a reason for black women, right, that's fine. But then somehow we want to throw that out the window, right? So if the brothers aren't seeing it growing up, what are they emulating? What are they copying? So I don't understand how you have this sort of, well, how come black men aren't doing this? But then the women will turn around and act like they are. If it wasn't part of the background, you don't have it either. So don't sit here and act as if you get it and you understand you know, it is what it is. It's only a small handful who tend to be your your, your, your black folks that grew up in a two-parent home or whatever, where that's something that they saw. Um, but if the majority of black folks aren't coming from that environment, right, what do they know? How do they know what to do? Right? Um, like I said, you have to be careful, you know, of your older black women who want to act like they've been on a certain tip. You know, I made this point before. You have this sort of being exposed to different groups at a later age, right? Then understanding what's important and what's not important, right? Because now you're exposed to non-black women who more than likely came from a two-parent home or whatever. So you're seeing what a functional relationship is. But that hasn't been the tip that a lot of chicks have been on, right? But anyways, let me not get sidetracked. So we're talking, once again, about examples. And I was telling her that, yeah... For the brothers, do I think it would help? I think it would because you would have brothers that would see uh, what it could be. You know, if you make the right choice and you have some sort of productive relationship, right, it, it, it could be a good look for you in terms of stability and uh, 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 having certain needs met and being in a, in a sort of situation that's just... Uh, something that feels good, you know, no one wants to be by themselves, and as you get older, the sort of uh, relationships that you want to have with people, you only can get out of the opposite sex, so the older you get, you know, the, the less you need the sort of attention that you get from your homeboys, right, you know, you want something new, you want a different type of relationship, uh, so it is a good look, and the beauty about it is, you have brothers that are able to observe what's going on, and they can look at the sort of choices that these black men are making. Who did they go after? Did they go after the chick, you know, who was the freak, and he was trying to convert her and hope that she got on some, you know, uh, Claire Huxtable, uh, Bible-toting sort of tip? Or did he go with the conservative girl next door, um, you know, and, and now they're happy or whatever. So those are stuff that you, you're going to observe. And also you can ask questions. You can sit them down and say, hey, Malik, hey, let's shoot some pool or get something to drink and talk. You know, what's your mindset? How did you know? And just pick his brain. And the beauty about it is that, you know, Jamal would be open to telling you, hey, listen, this is what I did wrong. If I could do it again, this is what I would do or whatever. This is what you need to look out for. So I do think you would have that sort of open dialogue where you have brothers that can observe and pick the brains of these black men. <clears throat> and at the end of the day, this would lead to a self-reflection where you have brothers that will sit back and say, hey, where am I? What am I doing? What am I not doing? What am I going for? What's my mindset like? Do I want to be like him or not? You know, what do I like about his situation versus what I don't like? So either way, it would open up uh, 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 the opportunity to self-reflect because you have some shit to go off of. So, yeah, I do think it would help, right? Um, however, when we get to the women, I, I, I told her that I don't really think so. And I say that because, yes, we have black women that are in happy relationships with black men, contrary to popular belief. Um, but what happens? And I've talked to these women, and they will tell you that they get written off as black women that were lucky. So other black women aren't going to pick their brain and say, hey, girl, what's going on? What are you doing? What are you not doing? Who did you choose? They're not, they're, they're not breaking that down. They're not looking at Keisha and looking at how she didn't go for, you know, the dude with the swag or whatever. She went for a certain type and look at how happy is she is. So it's not about settling, 
right? She's her level of happiness is far uh, outweighs whatever she may have had if she got that sort of guy, right? But that never gets uh, uncovered. Because once again, those women are written off as women who were lucky. Oh, you know, she was lucky. Um, uh, Spike winning the lottery or whatever. And like I said, I have black chicks that would say, yeah, that's what happened to me, right? Dead to my face, they've told me, oh, you got lucky. As if I didn't do anything in particular. As if I didn't have a certain mindset. As if I didn't have a certain belief set or whatever. Um, and I wasn't going after a certain type of dude that led to me being happy. So at the end of the day, you look at, okay, well, let's put some examples up, and you're going to see that these women are going to be written off as women that were just, you know, lucky. I mean, even if you want to look at examples of what not to do, there is no shortage of older single black women that are looking for anything, looking for something. All these standards or whatever, you'd be surprised what the women get uh, reduced to at the end of the day. Right, in terms of what they're looking for. So there's no shortage of examples of that. But what do those examples do? Nothing. You know, I scaled back my videos or whatever because to me it's almost pointless. Well, I'm going to have a debate with a, a, a certain segment of the black female population who's talking about this, that, and the third. And I'm like, listen, there's a black woman that came before you that had that same mindset, right or wrong. Look at how they ended up. So stop trying to play who's right and who's wrong. Look at how these women ended up. There's a whole bunch of right black women who are older, but who are just unhappy. But they're right, right? You know, uh, 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 they're correct in their viewpoints and beliefs, but look at how they end up. So what do those women do for you? What example do they serve? You don't want to end up like them. But what happens? Those older black women who are not in a favorable position, I'm not like them. I'm different, right? You know, I'm the diamond in the rough. So you look at the examples of what to do and what not to do, and when it comes down to what to do, oh, those women are lucky. So there's no sort of uh, benefit, right, because there's nothing that the women are extracting from those happy black women. And the women that are unhappy, right, what happens with that? There is no, hmm, let me figure out what she did and stay away from it. You get to sort of, well, I'm the diamond in the rough, and for whatever reason, the story is going to end up differently for me. <clears throat> so it is what it is. So you sit there and you're like, mm, I'm not sure on the examples, right, to, to be honest with you, to be real with you. Because, once again, to, 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 to gain something from it, it would take an element of self-reflection and it would take a certain mindset that would say, hmm, what am I not doing or what do I need to do, which would imply non-perfection, which would imply that, hey, I have some sort of personal accountability and part of my unhappiness or whatever is based off of stuff that I can control, which goes against the, the modern uh, 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 mode of operation for black women, which says, hey, my shit's together. Uh, the only time I fall off, the only time, you know, I'm not in a good position is if some man did it to me. Right? So if I see a happy black woman, oh, it's because of luck. So it is what it is, and I know people will fight me on it, but like I said, for the women out there who know what I'm talking about, it is what it is. How many homegirls, uh, uh, co-workers or, or whatever told you dead to your face that you were lucky as opposed to, hmm, let me sit you down and figure out what you did. Where was your mindset at? It is what it is. From a personal standpoint, you know, I got younger cats who are, you know, married or in good relationships or whatever. Some have kids, some who don't. And they'll tell you, all of us, we hit them up all the time. So there is no shortage of <clears throat> dialogue where we look at <clears throat> excuse me what they did what they didn't do or whatever it happens all the time but on the flip side right do you see that happening no right you know I can call up um, some of the, the the black women that I know that are in happy relationships and say hey how many other black women especially the ones that you know and that you're very close with hit you up and say what's going on what did you do right or you know uh, do you have any advice for me or this and a third you, it doesn't happen. They're nothing but lucky black women. It is what it is. So that's my video. <clears throat> I think I'm coming down with something. Y'all take it easy. You know where to find me. You know the deal. God bless you.